Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome back. This is KMA's Jams. Just another Minecraft series. Ooh. And we're at episode 5. And today, I really don't know what we're going to be doing today. I haven't really planned it out. But I do have something I want to talk about. So you know what that means. We either go caving or we do a little branch mining. Ooh. Trippy. So, we're going to do some branch mining. Just for a little bit of this episode. And, uh, so, you know, there's my little woolly hermitcraft little elevator. My main domain base. And we're just going to do a little branch out to the edge of town <laughs> well, oh sucky um partially because i've been complaining about the amount of diamonds around here and usually when i complain about something and then i follow through to try and prove my point i am proven wrong so and this particular strip mine right here that I'm going to do on camera, I'm probably not going to be proven right about the lack of diamonds. Most likely, I will get like 75 stacks of diamonds in the next 100 blocks just because I've been complaining about it. <laughs> but that's not what this video, or at least this section of this video, is going to be about. Um, somebody who I watch who is also a small channel, not as small as mine, he's grown bigger than me. <laughs> um, his name is Whitefire, go check him out. He's been talking about procrastination and stuff like that. Well, procrastination. He uh, feels bad that he does schoolwork because he's in high school. I think, yeah, he's 16, he's in high school. Um, and he feels bad that he's procrastinating on his page, but in all actuality, itch my foot. Um, <laughs> yeah, Descri descriptive life. In all actuality, he has a lot of things going on in life, including school, and he's got, you know, his family, and he's got sports he does, and different things, And but he feels like he's kind of shorting out YouTube, which he isn't. He's putting out more videos than I am, and he's doing fine. But it's something he worries about, so if he's worried about it, it's a big deal, because I consider him a uh, friend, and anytime a friend worries about something, it's a big deal. Um, even if it's, and I'm not saying his worry is slight, but even if a friend of mine is worried about something small, and I just go in my head, let's get over it already. The fact that my friend is worried about it makes it a big deal to me because I don't like my friends feeling bad about stuff. So, I come from a long history of procrastination. When I was a kid, oh my god, it was impossible for me to do anything. Procrastination was my middle name. So this series could have very easily, instead of being KMA's Corner, it could have been KPA's Corner, Keith Procrastination. <laughs> oh, do I, I do have a shuffle on me. Um, and basically, to get over to procrastination for me and everybody is different, I had to reprogram the way I think. And that came not from getting over procrastination, but from other things that has happened in my life, I've had to kind of reprogram myself because I had, and I'm not going to get into it, but let's just say if you can think of all the bad things that could happen to a kid, that would, f bad word coming, fuck them up for life, I've had those things happen. Um, so I've learned how to retrain my thoughts so I could kind of live a normal life from the traumas that I had to endure before I even hit teenage years. But that's another story, a story that you guys probably will never hear because I don't like talking about it. Um, I don't know why we got 
on a side subject, and I'm trying to remember where I was. But basically, for me, I've gotten to the point that if I know I need to do something, I just get up off my ass and do it and get it out of the way because the I've created a system to eliminate procrastination in my head. Um, so the fact of procrastination really bugs the crap out of me. For me, I don't care if other people procrastinate. It doesn't. It's not a big deal to me unless it affects my life, and usually it doesn't. So I don't really give a shit. Um, so I'm trying to think of a good way to explain this. I like filling in these holes. I don't know why. Um, there we go. Two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, I keep getting lost on point. I'm trying to concentrate and actually talk about something fairly important here. What happens with procrastination is that you can put something off. Hey, look at that, diamonds. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually, putting it off will be more painful than doing it. And that's when the procrastination stops. When you procrastinate paying bills, eventually you're going to get surcharges, penalties, fines, and things turned off. Or, hey, actually bills ain't a good way to do it. How about a clean room? Cleaning your room. One day your room's going to stink. It's going to look like shit. Nobody's going to want to come over and hang out with you because your room is nasty. So the pain of people not wanting to hang out with you because you're nasty becomes more important than... Uh, the joy of procrastinating and doing what you want to do. I mean, I, I could clean my room right now, but I can't go out with my friends. So I'd rather go out with my friends and clean my room. But then one day, you go, well, my room is freaking nasty. <laughs> I have to do something about it. Screw my friends. I need to clean my room. So that's when um, procrastination ends, is when it's more painful to not do the something than it is to do the something because usually when we're procrastinating it's for something that we don't really want to be doing um, so that is the key to procrastination is figuring out a way to make it more painful and I don't mean like sticking needles in your eyes or anything like that but making it more painful to um, not do it than to actually do the thing that you're procrastinating on and I've kind of retrained myself and unfortunately um, with negative reinforcement that if I don't do something right away it, I'm going to be bugging myself until it's done. It's going to be in the back of my head oh man I need to do this oh, I, I gotta stop doing whatever I'm doing and do this because um, the fact that I'm putting it off is bugging me more so I've actually made it to the point where if I don't if I don't do this something I am going to bug myself internally, internally, not eternally, internally, until it's done. Oh, I've used my torches. So I'm not going to procrastinate and I'm going to make some torches. Yeah. So I don't know if that, any of that makes sense. So if there's something that I need to be, that needs to be done, or if my wife asks me to do something, I immediately and go do it because once something is like Keith can you please do the dishes for me today I've got all this stuff going on and I can't really do it I'll basically stop doing whatever I'm doing and do it right away I'll finish whatever I'm doing and do it right away because if I don't the next thing I do I'll be thinking in the back of my head oh I gotta do do dishes oh I gotta do dishes oh I gotta do dishes and believe me if you have somebody a, a, your internal voice repeating that line over and over again <laughs> oh I gotta do dishes um, it's not that fun so procrastination is really basically figuring out that doing what you're procrastinating on will make your life better uh, and not doing it will make it not as good so each person is different with that two, three, four, five and um, you got to find out what it is that you can kind of, not self-sabotage, but you can kind of make the fact that your procrastination is 
more detrimental to what's going on in your life than actually just going to do the thing that you need to do. Um, and believe me, I, I've lived my life going. I've written projects that are supposed to take an all semester and done in the night before <laughs> type of thing. I, I've, I've tested procrastination to the ends of all time. Lovely diamonds. Um, so, I don't know if that really kind of helps at all. Because basically the whole thing that I do is just make procrastinating worse than actually doing the thing. Whether or not it's just annoying myself mentally and creating it worse mentally in my head. And that is strange, weird, I know, but if you knew my background, you'd understand a little better. Um, and so I somehow, so if there's something over my head that I need to do, it bugs me enough that I'm going to do it no matter what. And um, so everybody's got to figure out their own way of getting over procrastination and just do it. And it's amazing how true those that line is. I um, hate to say it, but I mean, you hear, hear it a thousand times, well, maybe not a thousand times a day. Okay, I, I exaggerate a lot, but <laughs> um, you hear it a lot. Just do it. And that is really key of life. I mean, you could be feeling bad. You can be having a cold. You can have a, a sore ankle. A, ooh. thought my game crashed. A bum MCL. But you, in life, you're going to have to get off your ass. Nobody's going to want to listen to you whimpering and whining about how sucky you feel right now. You just have to get off your ass and do it. And sometimes procrastination you just have to get off your ass and do it. Even if you feel like crap, even if you don't want to do it, you want to go out with your friends, just got to do it. If you take care of all the small details, all the big things in life will, have, will take care of itself. So if you take care of the details in your life, all the big stuff that you want to do in your life will fall into place because there's none of, none of this little petty stuff that's getting in your way. So that's kind of how I think of procrastination. Just get off your ass and do it. It doesn't matter if you've got a headache. It doesn't matter if you're fighting bronchitis or <clears throat> or uh, like yesterday I worked 13 hours at work. I came home and I started working here. Oh, and look at that. The end of my tunnel. So that was 250 blocks with just mine. So what I'm going to do is go back and do the, every f the four Pokemon and clean out all the ores from this area. But I hope you... Um, kind of like this talk and I'll get back to you and do something else for the second half of this video but just remember nobody wants to hear you whine nobody wants to hear excuses everybody wants for you to get off your ass and just do it or else you're not gonna be considered reliable it's called bugging I mean it's just it's something that happens when you, you grow up you learn that you can't just put things off you can't take a day off you just need to do it you just you, life is hard life is gonna throw punches at you life is gonna make you miserable sometimes but even through the misery the pain and the tiredness or whatever you just have to kind of get off your butt and do it okay um, and you'll that will be uh, a good sensation when one of these days you won't have anything to have to get off your butt for then you'll be like Jesus Christ I need to start a new project because I just can't do it anymore because I've done it all I want to clarify um, something that whole conversation on procrastination um, was started because I mentioned a guy named Whitefire who's a person that has not many subs but is very good at doing what he does with YouTube uh, Minecraft YouTube one two three four and um, eh, I, that whole explanation that followed was not specifically for him in general that was a broad statement for him in general um, one two three four I would say you're 16 years old you're rocking it in school you obviously have smarts. Um, 
don't forget to enjoy this part of life. If you want to be doing Minecraft videos, do that if it makes you happy. But before you have the responsibility of job and stuff that goes along with everything else in life, and before you have the responsibility of family and... Oops. Fudge. Well, I shouldn't be upset that I found diamond, but I, I'm upset that I didn't use the fortune pick. There's two more diamonds. Where are you? Oh. So, he, um, I would say, do whatever you, that you want to do to have fun and be responsible with your homework and stuff. Um, so... School definitely comes before YouTube. You, you already know that. You're not an idiot. One, two, three, four. Um, hanging out with friends, that should come before YouTube also. Because at some point you're going to be busy that you're not going to be able to... You're going to have to basically schedule a time to have fun. <laughs> that sounds sad, but it, it's kind of true. Uh, when you grow up and get responsibilities, especially if you're starting a family and stuff, um, your free time just goes bye-bye. So, um, I would say continue doing the YouTube, obviously, because you enjoy it. You've put a lot of hard work into it, and a lot of people enjoy watching it. Um, and it seems like some of your friends, you have some really good online friends with the uh, a new server that you're playing with, with all out J and all of them. <clears throat> continue doing that. But I wouldn't be so pressured to keep to a schedule and stuff because you're at the time where you should be uh, loving life, having fun, going out, hanging out with your friends, doing good stuff, and also doing a lot of homework stuff, uh, making sure your grades are kept up, which <laughs> it's pretty easy for you, I guess. <laughs> um, so procrastination story basically began with um, you saying that you're procrastinating on your videos and I'm saying it's okay for you to procrastinate on your videos because you have so much other stuff you can be doing right now and videos yeah you're, you you want to make it as a youtuber possibly I don't know what your goals are on YouTube but Honestly, um, it's really impossible to do that, especially if you're playing Minecraft. <laughs> so, um, don't forget to have fun while you are doing your YouTube. And don't worry so much about scheduling and having to postpone time with friends and stuff. Go have fun with your friends. And, uh, go play or, you know, kick ass in baseball or... Whatever you do in your free time. Hang out with your parents. I don't know. Because this is a special time in your life. And when it's over, you're going to miss it. And you're always always going to have regrets of what you should have done or whatever. But I basically say, don't, um, don't worry about YouTube so much. Uh, and force yourself into making videos. If you're not feeling it, just don't make a video. And... You know, we'll get over it. <laughs> um, I know I'm not going anywhere. I'll watch your videos when they come out. And uh, I'm pretty sure the people like all like Out J and Hamza and... Sorry, I've been out of the circle for a little bit because of the computer now being completely busy. I uh, don't really know exactly who you hang out with. But make sure you enjoy life. Uh, don't get lost in the gotta make YouTube videos. It's okay if you miss a deadline or whatever. It's not a big deal. So, yeah. That's right, White Fire. It's not a big deal. Uh, so what else do I want to say? Um, you may be wondering why I am poking holes in the wall and doing branch mining and recording it and talking about procrastination and stuff. Um, Season is here. I work a lot more in the winter and Basically the last three days I've worked 38 hours 
So I'm averaging almost 13 hours a day right now. One, two, three, four. So I'm not actually playing Minecraft. So I'm coming in here in the morning to make a video and usually what I do is show you what I've made the prior night and maybe work on something for a couple minutes and go hey you know this design's gonna be like this and boom there's the design and it's the video's done I haven't been able to really do Minecraft stuff at all this week and I do wanna continue with the videos because I've hence talked about this in the past I'm a creativity junkie if I'm not creating something I'm going nuts um, it's like a nervous energy that builds up in my body that if I'm not working on something if there's not a creation whether it be music or video or, or making a building or something in Minecraft I go a little bit nuts seeing I don't have the time to uh, make you know buildings or whatever in this game um, I still do want to do the video and when I first got into YouTube I was more of a vlog thing uh, I was into vlogging and talking to people about what's on my mind and stuff because one of the rare things with me with YouTube is that I'm old I'm 40 almost 44 years old and I have experienced a lot of things that other people haven't experienced and so I think my opinions on things may be pertinent in whether or not you want to listen to them or not. Yeah, that's, so that's up to you. Um, so after another week, not this Monday, that's coming up, but the following Monday, <clears throat> my route is being cut because not my office, but the... Uh, state office for the post office because I work for the post office says my new route is too big and it is beyond human means to be done on a regular basis and they have ordered my bosses to cut my route back because it's way too big um, basically if I were to do my route in the time that it, they say it should be done the post office is not open long enough and people aren't at the place long enough for me to do it each day so, um, the district or the state is making the district cut my route because it's way too big, which is fine by me, which means that I'm not going to be working 13, 14 hours a day, and I will be back to working 9, maybe 10 hours a day for the season, which is still a lot, but at least I can come home at maybe three or four o'clock in the afternoon actually four or five o'clock in the afternoon and play a couple hours of minecraft or whatever and have get my creative juices flowing and relax a little bit um, which I haven't been able to do but it's gonna take two weeks for that to happen so there's gonna be a little bit more on the talkie side videos I would say if I'm releasing three videos a week, one or two of them are going to be talky and one or two of them are going to be, hey, look what I built here and this is what it is and do you like this design and whatever and whatever and whatever. But So bear with me with these talky videos um, and I'll ask you a serious question right now. Um, even though I haven't really done anything in this video and I've just spoke words out of my mouth. Um, is that okay or would you rather me just not make videos uh, when it's just a talkie video and honestly even if you say ah oh, your videos suck don't make talkie videos <laughs> I'm still gonna make talkie videos so but I just want your feedback on how annoying or how cool this type of format is once in a while because it's not gonna be a consistent thing but every once in a while you'll get a video like this and maybe more often than once in a while for the next week and a half so with that I'm gonna go like this ah oh I'm like half in the wall there what's going ah 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 maybe I should make this some sort of thumbnail right there half wall that's what I'm gonna do as you watch I make thumbnail thumbnail made <laughs> Well, I'm going to go so I can go to work and get ready. 
But I will be working on something in the next video, what it is, I don't know. Um, thanks for listening to my ideas on procrastination and what's been going on with my life recently. Ah, not this again! Sorry, gotta stop that. And have a good day, it's Keith for KMA's Corner. Thank you for watching episode 5 of KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series, and I will be back in a couple of days with, well, with bells on. Hmm. Goodbye.